Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3160 with 12 moves, where we have to clear out 51 jelly. And I knew right away that we used to have more, so I checked, and indeed we had significantly more moves previously, but we also had these covered in marmalade. It is, I don't know why this is not listed as a hard level with these changes. I think that there's going to be a lot of luck required, so maybe we'll just get luck early and it won't be so hard for us. I do see opportunities to get striped and wrapped candies, uh, and hopefully they'll flow quickly and I'll be able to take out some of this chocolate. But first I just have to get some of this chocolate removed. And I'm kind of struggling with that. Here we go. There's chocolate. Oh, look. Some came out right away. And I get a color bomb. Oh, look at this. Now I can set this off, which would take a swath of 3x3, three three, or I can make another color bomb, or I could set up a special to set with this color bomb. There are a lot of decisions to make. Unfortunately, with this wrapped candy that I could get here right away, I, I would only have this purple here to turn into wrapped. I just don't know that it would work out the way I want. And the chocolate can grow and take this over right now, which I'm not thrilled about, but I'm going to risk it anyway. I'm going to make this. There we go. Now I'm going to take this out, which is also going to remove a color to concentrate things down. And then that got hit to take out another color, but we got things flowing here. I can't take out a chocolate, but I can do this. Yikes. I'm not getting any more from over here. I'm not emptying that out. Ah, there we go. There's one showing up. I get a color bomb, and then I just have to take out a color and hope for the best with cascading. Not going to happen. I was left with nine jelly. Probably not so bad on a board like this. I'll probably find different situations as I go that can lead to a much better or a much worse situation. I don't have anything good. I'm going to try line up the blue so I can take out some chocolate and get this flowing. Well, I did that, and now I don't have anything else I can do. Oh, this chocolate. Not a fan. Now I can't get a uh, wrapped down here because that filled in with chocolate. Yikes. So remember how I said some of these are going to end up much worse than others? I don't see any way to redeem this. I mean, yeah. If I got some special combos here, but yeah, I only have two moves. And sometimes you just have to go, oh, well, that's how this board is going to work. I want to, because there are only 12 moves, I want to contemplate each move before I take it. But when you start with a bad setup, there's not much to contemplate. Should I make a wrapped candy here, or should I go for striped? The striped could get consumed by chocolate. The wrapped in and of itself isn't going to be all that great, but I might be able to pair it up with something else. I've only got three orange on the board, so I like this concentration of color. There we go. Now these get separated, and I can't use them the way I wish. They jump down too far. So I'm not going to use these right now. I'm going to make some cascades here and try to get things going. There we go. And now I've got this open again, so if I can make some moves along here, I should be able to get more of these going, right? See, like this, I'm going to clear out some space here, so I'll get some more of these specials. And now the chocolate is gone from uh, the main area. Now I just have to deal with what already comes in. I can get another stripe draft combo. Okay. I think this is closer than I have gotten. I just don't think it's going to work. Stripe draft combo. It doesn't reach off to the edges very well. Wow, this is actually better than I thought, but just not enough unless I can get cascades. <sighs> Down to two. All right. I think we're going to wildly fluctuate on this, and that tells me that it is a lot of luck. Now, I do know that I want to take out a little bit of chocolate. I didn't get a special coming down. Well, that's a ripoff. How in the world did that not give me a special? Okay, so sometimes, every time we play, we want to learn things from the board. And sometimes we learn lousy things from the board. 
like this ability to get these specials here is extremely inconsistent and unfair. <sighs> I was hoping that would take out purple so that it would hit this. That didn't work. Yeah, that's a frustrating one. I can't even be disappointed that I'm not going to win this one because I was so far away and because the situation was just, in my opinion, completely unfair. Maybe it's because I had a striped or a wrapped on the board. Sometimes they can be stingy if we've already got specials on the board. I can't make anything good here. I'm just going to try to make cascading and blow things up. There we go. Okay. I'm going to take out all green from the board. That helped a bit. Now I'm going to ease. Look at this. I didn't get a striped or a wrap. I do have a wrapped on the board, but that's just lousy. I got a striped, and now I got a wrapped, even though I had a wrapped on the board. It's really frustrating when it's hard to tell why this is acting this way. It seems capricious, like there's no reason for it. It's just sometimes it'll give you one and sometimes it won't instead of a set of rules that allows you to know, if I do this, this will be the result. So yeah, here's me dealing with frustration. I'm going to go ahead and get some more lives, and the next version of this level that you see, or the next attempt that I make, will either give you something else that's instructive that we can learn from this board, or it'll be the win, because I don't want to have you watch, you know, 152 of these, and I think it might take 152 attempts. See you in just a bit. All right, this looks like a lousy setup, but maybe I can make a stripe with the orange. Ooh, I got a stripe with the green. I'm going to take that right away because hopefully it'll bring things down. It did into a much better position. And thankfully it was a bit reliable this time. I mean, I didn't quite trust it until I saw it, but I was happy to see it. Now, what is the move I should make? What would have the most impact? I think I might be able to get a striped wrapped combo down here. And I think that's a good choice. All right, look at this. We've got this side almost completely cleared out. So we have to work over here. Yikes. Backing things around with my elbows. Um, yikes. I don't know what to do. I like this move, and I'm going to try to get another, it was not a wrapped, but it's going to clear out some of this stuff that's here. Six jelly, three moves, four jelly, two moves, and I got rid of this one over on this side, and now I'm going to make some nice cascading here, so I've got rid of, gotten rid of all this jelly, and I just need this one. And, yeah, I can't do it with no more moves. All right, well, at least that was instructive, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one because it shows one example of getting so very close that if you needed to, you could just hit that with a lolly hammer when you realize that you can't make that last attempt if you've got any lo lolly hammers around. So I'll pause the recording and come back again with another hopefully winning board. Well, this doesn't look a, like doesn't look like a good setup to me, but I'll try to go for some cascading, see if that helps. I did get some chocolate removed. Oh, and I actually got one of these to fall down, which is really surprising because it's been very stingy. As a matter of fact, I'm so frustrated with this board that I'm ready to bring in boosters, even though I haven't given it the fair shot like I normally do. But so often, even when we don't have any specials on the board, this is not depositing any specials for us. Okay, I think I can get a striped wrapped combo here. Those things blow up. I like this. Now what? I like this stripe. It can hit across both sides, maybe if I can set it off. Actually, I think I'll go for some cascading here. 
All right, well, let's see what this can do. One more. Ah, that was tragic. All right, let's try it again. If I ever get to that position where I have one more to get and I have one more life, I'm using a lolly hammer if I can't reach it any other way. That's just it. I'm just over this one. Ah, look at this. We actually got something good here. I'm just a little bit flabbergasted. We haven't been getting that. Uh, I'm going to set up a striped wrapped combo. Nope, just a striped and wrapped, but lots of nice cascading. So I'll take it. Oh, I wanted that as a special combo. All right, well, we're still doing well, and I'm still determined that I will use boosters if I need to. I'm kind of over this level here. All right, let's see. That striped wrapped combo isn't going to be very beneficial, so instead... I'm just going to take out all orange from the board, concentrating these colors down. Ah, look at this. I was able to do it without boosters. But I tell you what, this one had me so utterly frustrated. The inequity of it all, without being able to rely on this. Finally, after 33 tries, I was able to get that to work for me again. I was able to get it completed. But it's a tough one, and, and I'm with all of you who are frustrated about the changes that have been made that make it so much more difficult to complete these levels. If this was helpful to you to show that it actually can be done and to give you a few ideas on the best ways to approach it, I'd appreciate it if you would consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.